Darmstadt, Germany, hometown of UMETSAT, the European Organization for the Exploitation of Meteorological Satellites. UMETSAT's main purpose is the delivery of satellite data to the National Meteorological Services. UMETSAT not only supplies the weather services of its member states in Europe with meteorological data, but also other users around the world. UMETSAT and the European Space Agency are partners in the development of the satellites and the provision of the data for meteorology and Earth observation. We deliver the services to our users. We also develop the ground segment to have all facilities at hand to make our services evolve to the service of our users. But we rely fully on ESA, on the design and development of the most advanced meteorological satellite in the world. The UMETSAT ground segment consists of a number of tracking stations all over the world, like the commercial Svalbard station near the North Pole. These stations receive the satellite data and send it back to Darmstadt, where they can be processed, distributed and archived. The Darmstadt control room is the beating heart of the organization, and it generates the data that can be used by meteorologists worldwide. The data that UMETSAT provides is used in four different ways. It's used for nowcasting. This is generating short-term forecasts from one to six hours. It's used um, by direct assimilation into the computer models that generate the weather forecasts on the medium term. This is from six hours to 15 days or so. Another way in which this data is used is for research to better understand our climate system. And this data can also be used to monitor changes in the climate system. To remain at the forefront of newest satellite technology, UMETSAT relies on its collaboration with ESA. The European Space Agency is uh, Europe's R&D organization for satellite and satellite systems. And in this context, uh, we have also set up uh, cooperation since more than 20 years with UMITSAT. So the requirements coming from UMITSAT, our partner for the development of meteorological satellites, are transferred by ESA engineers into mission requirements and requirements for the instruments. ESA develops the prototype satellites and also delivers the successor operational satellites. Examples of the successful collaboration between ESA and UMETSAT are, for instance, the second generation of Meteosats like the MSG3 or the soon to be launched METOP B. All these satellites have proven to make a large contribution to weather forecasting today, making it more accurate, more reliable, and faster than ever. This speed and accuracy are of crucial importance, as weather forecasting is much less mundane than one might think when one watches the forecast after the evening news. So weather forecasting is important. It affects every aspect of our lives, from the trivial aspects such as, shall I have a barbecue on Saturday, right through to factors that can affect um, life or death situations, for example, hurricane warnings. Weather forecast is a very important thing for a modern economy. Uh, flying, transport, uh, many areas, agriculture, all this depends on a good weather forecast. And uh, satellites have improved the weather forecast enormously in the last uh, decades. And so UMETSAT and ESA continue their cooperation to provide meteorologists with new and better data so they can better understand and predict the weather and monitor our climate and to see whether the sun will shine after a rainy day.